The current pandemic has shaken the world. And I know many of you have suffered, have family members that died or get sick. But from my experience, all pandemic will end. What does good health mean to you? It means that you need health in order to learn, to hold a job down, to contribute to your society, to the world, and to maintain peace, prosperity, and happiness. You've been a witness, a first-hand witness, to deep inequality globally. What's one experience that still shocks you? Was a long time ago about the discrimination towards a schoolboy. He had to receive blood product to keep himself alive. And because of the receipt of this blood product, he got AIDS. He was discriminated at school. His family was discriminated against in the entire community. And I had to relocate the family and I have to give them new identity to make sure they can live happily and freely and the boy can continue to benefit from his own education. So this is a story that has stuck in my mind for the last three to four decades. At Tsinghua University, you are Dean of the Vanka School of Public Health, where you train future health leaders. But how do you create good citizens as well as good experts? James, this is a very profound question. I search hard for what the world needs. And of course, we need to look at ecosystem balance about nature, about people and animals. We need to look at infectious diseases. And one of the flagships is HIV AIDS. Why? It was a disease that killed years ago. And because of innovation, and because of scientific advancement, people with HIV AIDS can live a normal life, provided they get the medicine. We live in a global village. We must think globally and act locally and with humanity at heart. You have a young grandson. What is one big health breakthrough or innovation that could happen in his lifetime? He is such a happy boy. We can leave a better world for our young people. The biggest challenge is the unbearable poverty and growing inequity. Health, some would say that it is the centerpiece. This is the first in a new series of conversations with health leaders. Tell us why it's important for everyone to watch. I agree with you, we need to watch, but we also need to listen. All these people may have different ideas, good ideas, maybe not so good ideas. Listening and watching helps you make better decisions. And finally, this series is called From the Well. As someone with a deep well of experience and compassion, what one message do you have for us all? Be kind to yourself, be kind to your friend, and be kind to a stranger. So we need to stay healthy and be good to yourself and to your neighbours. Dr. Margaret Chan, thank you for being the well. I'm James Chow. From the Well is a new series with global leaders brought to you by the China Current and Tsinghua Vanki School of Public Health.